welcome to today's YouTube video where we build our schoolie shower. I would just like to disclose that this is not a tutorial. We have no idea what we're doing. We're not professionals. Do not take everything we do as fact, but we'll let you know how it goes. And follow the YouTube. Follow the YouTube. Follow the YouTube. Because we love you. Jalen and Daniela, and in May of 2022, we decided to sell our things, buy a school bus, and build it out to be the traveling home of our dreams. This week, we're taking you back in time to the build stage, not only giving you a glimpse into what building out a bus looks like, but also reminding ourselves of the hard work we've put in to get here. Let's jump right in. So the first step to building our shower bed, since we're not using a shower pan, because we custom fit the size of our shower. I went and bought this perfect slope that we are cutting to the dimensions of our shower. It's like foam with a piece of cardboard that is slanted. And then this extension piece because ours was a bit longer than the 40 by 40. Extension kit for four or five inches. Yeah, right now I'm just measuring from the drain out, cutting the slopes, and then we'll have the base for a shower Jalen's on cleanup duty, and for some reason, he's always shirtless in our videos. I finally figured out the key to like good circulation in here is like cracking the windows and then having both of the fans going out, so that's sucking the air in and pushing it back out. But this is our shower underlayment, and um, once you measure it mm -hmm. and measure it wrong, then you just go on the other side of the line like a little bit. There's a million ways we could have done this earlier today. We were going to do it with the four to one mud mortar mix. It's very heavy. Would have been to very time consuming. And a lot of weight on the bus. And a lot of weight. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to return that, that sack. Now we are feeling for the bolts, cutting small holes, and kind of squeezing the rubber around the bolt, like popping pimples. This will let us line it back up perfectly when we take it off to put the sealant. Okay. Cool. Right, that'll do it. That'll do it, I think. It looked a lot easier. Got a pot of water. We're gonna test the drain out. Why are you putting it in there? See if it. Yeah. Okay. Let's see if it works. It's pretty good. That's pretty good. I'll take it. What do you think, Smoke Man? What do you think, Bubby? Is it's gonna be a shower? I told you. It's a shower. Oh, shit. We got pieces for a barn door. We're making a barn door. We're gonna put in a barn door today. And we're using an old mirror that Daniela got for Christmas two years ago from her mom. And we, it's one of the only pieces of furniture that we actually kept. Don't get me wrong, we have tons of stuff in storage. But this is one of the pieces we wanted to make sure we used in the bus actually one of the only pieces we use. The first thing that we've done is turn off the fan so that we die. <laughs> and then, so you can hear us, we put in this piece that goes all the way across. It's three pieces. It's essentially just going through the frame of the wall so that we have more of a sturdy surface than just like this piece of plywood. 
to actually put the track and I've already bumped my head on this so it's gonna be great that's how you know it's good so now this needs to be bolted in and then we're going through measuring where we're gonna put the actual rolly tracks mount rolly mount tracks we're putting them four inches in that's just to keep them almost symmetrical when you're filming it takes like four times longer to do a project than just doing it because you want to set up the camera you got to get the different angles for the shots it's a whole project but we do it for you and we do it for ourselves put this together our track and it looked a little short to me but I didn't question it and then there was an extra piece but I didn't question it and then we found the other piece so it's not all the pieces and we got to figure out how to get this out without breaking it I guess this is the tool they gave us and we don't have a hex bolt for our drill so, <laughs> tree by hand really sucks. <laughs> we had to make these extra braces just for like, I guess just being cautious. So it's been a pretty long Sunday, a good one though. Did some laundry. We hung out with some friends and had a brunch at their house. We went to a static dance. So we've done tons today, but we're not finished. Now we're gonna work on the bus a little bit. We have the walls to put in. We're using a lightweight waterproof foam board called Go Board, and it's super easy to cut. You literally use a razor blade, snap it, super easy, but we'll be putting in a couple pieces of that today, and we're gonna take you with us. Hope you enjoy. Apparently Jalen's done this already, so I'll just say goodbye. Stuck on everything. Uh -huh. So itchy. Hi, good morning. It is a very rainy Sunday. We anticipated that we were going to tile the shower today. And we are going to do that still, I think. But we have a leak coming from our skylight. And so part of the boards are wet. And we don't want to put mortar over them yet. So in the meantime, while we wait for them to dry, we cleaned it up, we put a bucket underneath, we should have done that last night, we wouldn't have run into this issue, but we've got this like waterproofing band to put them on the seams, and we're going to do that. We had banana chocolate chip pancakes for breakfast, so I'm feeling energized. I am pressing the band into the mortar to seal a piece where two joints come together. It's official. I'm addicted to caffeine again. Oh god, it didn't take long. <laughs> I'm gonna make some pizza. We are kind of ready to start doing some tile. We went to Home Depot and got some mortar and some grout literally forgot the whole reason that we actually went there was to get more orange waterproof tape we're just not putting it in the one spot forget it it stopped raining so we stopped leaking but this is the spot it was like this little piece right here and then this wall this looks pretty good i'm gonna start tiling in this back corner i hope the mortar is thick enough for these thick tiles like wondering if I need to put more.
Got a three cheese thing going on here. Some Mott's and some Parm and some Gorg with some shiitake mushrooms and spinach. shower and I want it now. I've waited long enough. Time for a pizza break, but we almost have a shower floor. What do you think about that, Momo? Okay. It's going great, don't you think? Comment how you think it's going, all right? We have been tiling all freaking day. I think this is the first time we've worked on the bus for a full day in a long time. We're absolutely exhausted. It's grouting day, all right? Let's do it. It's Tuesday, it's grouting day. It's Tuesday, do you know what that means? No? No guesses in the comments? Well, whatever. It's grounding day. Alright, let's do it. Mmm, we got dark brown grout. Ooh, yum. Oh, it looks like fudge. It looks kind of purpley. I like it. I forgot that this is like sand. <laughs> Just blobbed it down. It feels like kinetic sand. In case you're wondering, we are still grouting. Um, I guess we put down a lot of tiles. Thick tiles. They are so thick, so they're taking so much grout. I ordered like a hundred dollars worth of Indian food. Okay. So we're gonna <laughs> oh, we're gonna feast. <laughs> so we're gonna feast. <laughs> we're done with the bathroom. We have to go to final wipe down tonight before bed, but we're gonna eat first. We've got some chicken tandoori. And that's all that's open so far. And Jalen is embarrassed to be naked on camera. The reason you haven't seen me do any of this bathroom stuff. I've literally just been in my underwear working. <laughs> there he is. I see his butt. <laughs> <laughs> is that really any different? Yeah, there's layers now. No, unpack the food. Mm. I want a bite. Oh my god. Give me a bite. I don't know if I want to share. Maybe unpack the rash. That's it. We're going to India tomorrow. Place to watch trip? the cats. Got Which three cats in a cute place and. A recording studio but you have to watch the cats we have got almost 370 subscribers one of you will you watch our cats if we go to india <laughs> thank you you can have the bus for the time you are with them it's a pretty good deal pretty sweet deal um, there's some naan looks great i'm gonna keep that one rice Lots of rice, so much rice, probably more rice here. Ready? And more rice. Alright. I don't right. know. I ordered a side of rice because I was. I told you, this alone, this bag alone is like nine pounds. More rice? Yeah, that, so that's more rice. Oh, oh my. no. <laughs> Sometimes we don't come with rice. I Go was down in there. Chicken tikka and. Lentils. Lentils. Wow. Right, Holy everything. crap, babe. That's everything. Wasn't there another bag? It was the cooks. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna feast. It's awesome. Dolly wants some. Ooh, spice. What do you think, girl? Ooh, ooh, mm. uh. Hello, and welcome to a beautiful, almost too beautiful, 
day in Asheville and I say that because it is so hot. I'm sweating while we're working outside. Let's get back to building out the bathroom. So far we have patched up the leak in the ceiling of the skylight. Jalen has put in the fan for the toilet. I have started fixing up our toilet so it is a little nicer and we're cutting the last wall of our bus ever. Anything? Uh, that was good, right? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> that was like perfect timing. I threw up my back yesterday, so I'm trying not to be so harsh on myself. So this is this is working for me. We're waterproofing all of these walls in the bathroom. We're gonna waterproof the ceiling. Essentially, just like creating a wet room to keep the rest dry. I'm really excited to have a bathroom. I am ready go poop in my own bucket. My own bucket. Sweaty, Sweaty and sick of sanding. Well, you should just remind the people that you insisted we keep this and it's been our toilet for a very long time now. I think you just reminded them. So we put in a couple walls today. Now we're cleaning up. We're gonna go to a small brewery outside of Brevard and have some dinner with my grandpa and grandma. Bus is getting cleaned. I'm cleaning out here and just kind of getting ready for another day, who knows? But for now, we are done working on the bus. The bus is almost ready to shower in. <laughs> I'll show you the bathroom because I don't think we ever showed you our progress. But this bathroom door, that was our mirror in our house. It's now our barn door. Immediately so bright <laughs> in there. Yeah, from the light. It's so nice. Shower. The tiles everywhere. And then our toilet we have to put back together. We got this for our um, coconut core. And then our towels are hanging up here. Would you shower in here? I mean, yeah, absolutely. I wish I was <laughs> as short as you because that's like prime right there. It's where perfect. You're at. I mean, I can't wait to take a shower. We haven't yet. And then we have this. You can still shower outside. Just stick this out there. We got a new shower head because the other one just was not working with the height that we had here for Jalen. So this is a lot better. It's as tall as we could possibly get it. I would just like to make a public service announcement that I have asked Jalen if I could shower in the bus for the past week now. And he said no because we haven't gotten a shower curtain. And look what I find him doing. Um, excuse me, sir. What are you doing? Showering. That's not fair. The bars. <laughs> so do what you want, folks. Don't ever listen to anyone else. <laughs> Goodbye. Morning. What are you doing, buddy? You on the phone? You're getting text messages? <laughs>